Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel, guys. In today's video, guys, I will show you how to rewarm, calibrate camshaft and crankshaft position sensor, guys, on a 2.4 multi air engine. If you guys have that engine, it has been used in multiple cars, such as, guys, Dodge Dart Chrysler 200, Dodge Ram Pro Master City Jeep, Cherokee Jeep Renegade, Jeep Compass, Fiat 500X, and Fiat Toro as well, guys. All this vehicle use that 2.4 multi-air engine. Let's say you guys uh, did something on the timing, okay, you replace timing chain, sometimes even if you replace a new sensor, okay, you have to recalibrate them. And we will explain, guys, how we do that, okay, with the help of that scanner. So stay with us and we'll cover everything from start to finish. Quick introduction, guys. Every single car we get at the shop, including this one here, we make at least 200 videos. Why? Simply, guys, because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video, guys. Hopefully you will find the information helpful. Now, if you guys need to buy any replacement parts, tools, or you want to check out the scanner that we are using, we'll have the link in the description of the video below, guys, for your convenience. So, let me show you now, guys, okay, what we'll be doing. Okay, that scanner, guys, works on pretty much any car you can think of. Check it out. Okay, it's amazing. And they constantly release updates as well. So, you can, you can even work on Ferraris, guys, how cool that thing is, right? So, really, really good scanner. Now, I'm going to go ahead and connect the programming device this is a programming device guys uh, they come in different shapes you can get a smaller one you have one with the bluetooth uh, really depends guys but uh, that's the original one i'm going to plug it into the obd port of the vehicle okay right there this one stays here now what we'll do next okay i'm going to turn the ignition on without starting the car okay ignition keys on not starting the car Perfect. Now it's establishing communication and what we will do next. Okay, let me like roll the window down. Okay, so I don't unlock myself out somehow. Okay, we come right here guys and we can just uh, go ahead and select the vehicle or we can click VIN if we want to. But uh, it's up to you. I'll just click Dodge right here and uh, we're going to uh, click manual selection. Okay, I want to show you how to do it quick. Now, it's going to give us uh, a list of vehicles and we need to select ours. It's a 2015 model. And this is a Dodge Dart, guys. Okay, Dodge Dart. So that's what we will be looking for. PF Dart, right there. And we go to Diagnostics now. Control Unit. We select Power Train and here we select engine control module you can access every computer in the car guys this is like a dealer level equipment it's amazing for pretty much any car we'll go to special functions now okay special functions it's loading you can see your car battery it's 12.1 in the corner when you do diagnostic it should always be above 12 12 volts now check out guys what we have here cam crank rewarn we click that function and it says you should use this function anytime a repair has been made that needs the cam and the crank relationship to be rewarmed. We click OK. Please start your engine. Okay, let me focus quick because it got foggy. I'll go ahead, start the engine. Let me get the scanner inside so we can continue on the inside, guys, and show you okay, what we'll be doing from that point on. Okay, so we're inside the car now. I'll go ahead, start the engine. And you can see, cam crank rewarding complete. It took very short amount of time, guys. And right now, everything's good and ready to go. Hopefully, guys, the video will be helpful to any of you trying to figure this thing out. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.